Us track cyclists are a peculiar breed of cyclists that have our own unique way of doing things that, say, roadies might not. So today, in this video, we're going to take you through a few things that only track cyclists do. Starting with the first one, holding hands. Oh, sorry, mate, I haven't chalked up. I haven't chalked up yet. Oh. It's not quite what I mean, but right. we'll, we'll just get started. Imagine holding hands with your teammate in a road race. It'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Well, in fact, Manon, it's actually against the UCI rules to have any physical contact with other riders in a race. Hmm. Of course it is. But on the track, holding hands is a thing. It's actually a whole race and it's called the Madison. It is one of the most exciting races to watch on the track and it basically involves a bunch of riders and each rider will be in a team of two. One will be the racing rider and one will be the resting rider. But it won't stay like that for the whole race. They'll alternate so. One minute you might be the racing rider and the next you'll be the resting rider. But how do they make that switch? How do they just duck in? No, they actually do a Madison hand sling, which is the best, most efficient way to change the riders over. It is a little bit bizarre, holding hands in a race, isn't it? Wouldn't see that out on the road. Anyway, it's a thing on the track. Anything goes. Should we give it a go, guys? Madison, holding hands? Uh, I don't know. It is a bit weird, isn't it? I quite like it. Oh, man. You, you oh. do know you have to do that whilst riding the bike? We've got to be bike. on the bike. Oh, oh, that's a bit oh, never mind. We'll style it out. One thing you definitely don't see in road riding is chalk on your hands. I mean, it's just a, something that doesn't cross your, your mind when you're leaving for a ride. But on the track, riders often put chalk on their hands, especially in a 500 meter time trial, individual pursuit, and also a team pursuit. And the reason being is because they're thinking of every single aerodynamic gain. And mitts isn't one of them. So the mitts come off, but at the same time, you don't want sweaty hands gripping those bars when you're doing a standing start. You want to try and keep as safe as possible. So, chalk on the hands for some added grip. This is actually a liquid chalk. Rather a lot of it. Nice grippy hands. Hold! On the track, communication is key, particularly in team events such as the Team Pursuit, where you have four riders completing four kilometers in the fastest time possible. If you hear riders shouting hold, that means they want the rider on the front of their group not to speed up and not to slow down to maintain their current speed. To get the rider on the front to speed up, the riders will simply shout up. If in the Team Pursuit you hear the word three shouted, that means you're down to three riders as one of your riders has been dropped. Now, if you hear the word two shouted, panic bells and alarms should be ringing because it means you're down to only two riders and seeing as your time is taken on the third one, you need to slow down immediately and regroup. God, it's confusing on the track, isn't it? What sort of thing do you carry in your purse or your bag? Lipstick, your wallet, a notepad, maybe a pen, chewing gum, that sort of thing? As track cyclists? Oh no, we carry very different kind of things. Tools, chain rings, lots of them. Sprockets, Allen keys. As you all know, on the track, you only have one gear. So from time to time, you might want to change that gear up depending on the sort of effort you're doing. So you'll just bring a whole bag of gears to the track, decide what efforts you want to do and change up the gears. Don't see that on the road, do you? Be quite heavy carrying that in your saddlebag. Animals are normally put in pens, but in track racing, the riders are in pens as well. Something that normally looks like um, this kind of little unit I'm in right now. Now, track racing days are long, really long, especially if you qualify and make it through to the finals. You could be there for quite a long time. So, if you have your little unit set up, kind of your mini house throughout the day and you have your soigneur on hand to look after you. Yep, track riders have a soigneur as well. That's basically a kind of a helper who does everything for you, looks after you, cleans your visor, gets your bottle ready because track bikes, they don't have bottle cages. You need to take a sip 
from a bottle when you're off the track. And generally look after you, give you food and get you ready for your event in your pen, like an animal. A bit weird, isn't it? Us roadies might think the clipless pedals is enough to keep us secure on the bike. There's no way your foot is coming out of that pedal. For track cyclists, on the other hand, that's not enough, especially the sprinters. They put a serious amount of power and force through the pedal, and there is high risk that their foot could come out the pedal. So how do they solve that? Well, they literally do strap their foot to the pedal, and that makes sure that their foot is not coming out. Now, you do have to put an immense amount of power through those pedals for it to come out, but these top pro track sprinters, they do have big power. Oh. Ah, that's better. Oh, lovely. Road cyclists will head out onto the road, of course. They'll warm up, they'll do their efforts, and they'll continue on riding until they're finished. Professional track riders, however, it's not quite the same thing. They'll do a session which is about three hours long. They'll head out from the track centre onto the track, warm up, do their efforts, cool down for a lap or so. Then they'll come back to the track centre, sit down, put their feet up, talk about the air temperature, the air pressure, aerodynamics, presumably what GCN video they've most recently watched. Then they'll have a little snack, a drink, maybe even a gel, and um, they'll chill out for 10 minutes or so, head back out, warm up and do it all again before coming back to the track centre and getting their feet up. Oh, it's an easy life being a professional track cyclist. So there you have it, some bizarre things that only track cyclists do. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And let us know down in the comment section, what do you want to see us do next on the track? Judging by Madon's face, I'm nervous. I'm I can't nervous. wait to get you guys back on the track. I reckon we need to get um, Si and Dan back on the track. Yeah, that's a good idea, it's a good that shout. That would be. Thanks so if you want to see Dan everyone. and Si on the track, comment below. It's gonna hate me for that.